what was it like when Christy was over the team? Ah, uh, Christy, it was it was fireworks literally every every time. You know, he was he was he was uh, one of the greatest characters you could ever meet oh, yeah. as a manager. You know, I had I had so much great time for him. And Christy Shaw, yeah, again, you talk about characters, but 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 also is very very important for me because he was the first man to give me a, a big break at my inter county career. Uh, Ali win at this stage for Wexford is a bonus. Like his speech is, you know, in, in Murphy Floods in the hotel, uh, naming the team on a Thursday night. I will tell you one very funny story if 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 it can embellish. We were we were playing Cork in the in the league final. He went through the Wexford team and then he went through the Cork team. And he was going through it and he'd ask each player who you're marking and, and what uh, say I think Sean was marking Barry Egan and he'd just say things oh he won't hurl he definitely won't hurl, uh, hold a candle to you Sean he'll hurl the shit out of him you know <laughs> so every Wexford player up along he'd go to George go, who are you marking George uh, Seanie McCarthy Georgie, he can't hold that candle. Here. You're the great, you know. He won't even be able to joke with you. Who are you marking, Murphy? And I don't know, Sean Constantine. Uh, I've never heard of him. He's no good. You'll hurt him. You'll hurt the shit of him. Then who are you marking, Scanlon? Uh, Brian Cochran. God help you, son. <laughs> That's what he said. He was the only one. Brian Cochran. Oh, God help you, son. He said. So that that, that broke the tension. I remember we played. I was. I think I was telling you about the time we played double in Nolan Park, and we drew with him. It was around 92, and I actually I won the man of the match, my first man of the match award. And so I got interviewed, Christy got interviewed, and Gerard Cush got interviewed. So I got interviewed first, and I went and got my gear out of the dressing room, and I went out, my bus was gone, and I don't know how I was going to get back down to, uh, down to Hotel Kilkenny. And I looked up and I seen Donnelly's bus. I said, oh, I go up to Donnelly's bus, and jeez, thank God. And I went up, there was no players on it. It was all Christie's friends were on the bus, Jimmy Pendergast and all. I think Jimmy might have been a selector actually even back then, but I said, I'll get on anyway. I need it, wasn't to, your bus anyway. it wasn't my bus, but I need to get a lift anyway back down to Nolan Park. And I sat on the back of the bus anyway. I seen Christie walk out and he got on the bus and he was delighted with himself and we were happy. We, the replay was on the following week and I was sitting there and Christy tapped me on the knee. He said, well, on young garbage. He says, great stuff. He says, great stuff. And next when I looked over and Christy was pulling something from underneath the seat of the car. And I said, a bag, a gear bag. And I said, yes, Christy must be going to get into a suit or something. Now he gets with because he had a tracksuit bottom on him. And when he opened it up, would you believe it, it was a slab of beer <laughs> that he had on the bus. I said, yes, Christy, what do you have? He said, here you are, brother. Get that into you. I said, sorry, Christy, I don't drink Georgia Championship. He said to me, yes, if it was like you would be an all-star every day, he says. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a great character, oh, absolutely great and very passionate, a very passionate Wexford man. Two Wexford men in line for it, one to get it is Christy Kyo. Christy trying a shot himself and scoring a very nice point. Well, like Christy was the, Christy was the was man. Was that who? Like, I was going to ask you, Skinner, who would you have looked up to back then? Yeah. Ah, Christy was the man, like he was the hurler, he was the man, like. He was, he, was ah, he was brilliant, yeah. And tell you the kind of manager he was, like, you know, sometimes managers, you're kind of nearly afraid to go ask him something, or, but the, he was very, like the rest of us, kind of, you know what I mean? You didn't uh, feel like he was your boss, kind of, or you could approach him or ask him anything, or, you know, there was but, no... But he absolutely loved Wexford. I, I, I rarely would you meet a guy with that, uh, as much passion. And now, Tony Jordan and Martin Doherty go for it together. This is Christy Kyo with it, now a shot and a point! <laughs> he was a great singer. That year we actually ended up uh, getting a trip to, la to the, sh the Shamrock Fire in, in uh, Spain somewhere, Spain right, somewhere yeah. yeah. And Christy singing the Huggle Bug <laughs> up on stage. Oh, I know, he was, he was some ah, character. He was a great like, man, a great man. And he was also, I think, a very unlucky manager. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Jesus was nearly, nearly, nearly there so many times, yeah, like, you know? Yeah. And the Leinster yeah. final, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 all them great characters. And Christy to me was would, would blow it over. I remember we actually went to play down in the National League up in up in down actually, and we stopped off in the Carrigdale Hotel. But I remember I was staying with Eamon Cleary upstairs, and we were finding it very difficult to sleep. There was an awful noise coming from downstairs. And Eamon turned around, he says, Larry, will you go down? He says, and get me a pint of water. I says, OK, Eamon. I was only really glad to get out of the bedroom. And I went down, and I said to you, one at the reception, could you give me a pint of water, please, with some ice? She goes, oh, no, no, get it yourself. I said, I can't go in there. She says, uh, all the selectors are inside. I said, I don't want them to know a half eleven at night, and I'm still up. She goes, oh, no, no, she's there gone into the nightclub. <laughs> 
<laughs> I said, Worry, sorry, see, they're going into the nightclub. I said, No, they can't be. Oh, yes, you go have a look. So I walked down and I had a look into the double doors. And Christy was in the middle of the dance floor and he was swinging his corner around like that. And Bill Peer, Bill Peer was wobbling. Bill Peer from Middle Scott, he was jumping up and down as well. And all Christy's friends were there. They said, What the hell is going on here? And so I got the pint of water, went up and told him, and Clary said, Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. We live where we land. But we got up the next morning, we had the breakfast. And all the selectors and mentors who were over there, they were all dying with a hangover. And they said, right, lads, let's get on the bus. We're going home. The match was called off. <laughs> the match was called off the previous evening. But they didn't want the players going to the beer. No, no. They got on the bus and they never get from Carrigdale Hotel to Dublin. John Dalton, Splasher Dalton. He yeah. got two, two speeding tickets because he was like a dog as well. Because he wasn't going to have a drink either. So, so. Uh, oh, it was great, great crack. So that's to me, you know, that's what really makes hurling uh, enjoyable as well to have something like that. He was just such a passionate, passionate Wexler man. <clears throat> very passionate, a very passionate Wexler man. Christy Kill. And it's Christy with the ball now. Four cork men after him. Still Christy. And I nice shot in a nice point by Christy Kill. Harris as he was with first four, then three, then two, then one Corkman after him, but he didn't seem to worry. He took it and the score is now. Cork, 114. Wexford, 2-6. That is 17 points to 12.